Hey guys, Fayon here, and today I'm going through the cross sweep. So the cross sweep was first introduced to me by Rod Cooper. I have to thank him for this one. It's a lot of fun. It generates a lot of momentum and force using the lower body. Today, I'm going to go through some tips and cues on how to perform this. Let's go. We can start practicing this movement by understanding how to sweep the legs around. Placing one hand behind you, you're going to wrap that same side leg around the other leg and then extend. And then wrap back around and then extend. Practicing this movement will help you understand how to generate momentum and how to swing the leg out from that crossed position. Practice it on both legs until you feel comfortable with this sweeping motion. After you understand that, we're going to add another layer. With the leg that wraps around, then extends, you're going to place it down flat on the ground, swing the back leg around and end up back into squat. It's the same motion as before, but now you really have to work to transfer your weight forward so that you can swing the back leg around. To enable your legs to swing freely, you then have to really use your arm as support to make your feet feel light. Once you're comfortable with that, you can work towards doing the full cross sweep. Instead of ending back into squat, you're then going to keep on extending the leg around and wrapping the trailing leg around the supporting leg and then continue the motion from side to side. The leg that wraps around extends, plants and then the trailing leg wraps all the way around and then continues the motion. It's the same motion on each side. This movement is all about the rhythm, about how you transfer your weight from your feet to your hands. Once you plant your hand down, you then outstretch your foot, you switch and then you plant the other hand down. You can start adding some speed after you understand this rhythmicality. You can also play with this movement by entering into it in the reverse. So twist around to the other side from the squat and then you start the motion with the other foot. It's an awesome way to start a flow. It generates a lot of force and then still keeps you in this low gait position so that you can end up back into squat. That's it guys, that's the cross sweep. Remember, if you enjoyed this and you want to check out more movements, check out thepassivehang.com where I'm building the library of locomotion. If you have any questions as well, you can find my details on the website and shoot me a message. Thanks guys.